Well, I'm filming this live just to see how it goes. I'm up in my studio and I never know how long or how good the signal is going to be up here. So I'm filming this and then I will share it later. So one of the things I've been doing, and I've mentioned that in previous videos, is I have been working on natural canvas that I have coated with Liquitex Clear Gesso. And I really do like the feel of it. It's got a really nice gritty feel. That's why I like it. And I use it for my pastels. And that's why I use it for my pastels on paper is because of the built-in grip that the Liquitex Clear Gesso has that I really like. So I put this on the canvas and it's very absorbent also. So it runs a little bit, but when I put down a thin wash of acrylic in the beginning, it is more like a stain instead of, um, you know, a paint film that kind of floats above the, the slicker gesso that you get sometimes on already pre-stretched canvases. So, and I also like to draw on canvas, and I've found that the clear gesso with that built-in grit allows me to be able to draw on the canvas and do marks. So I use you know, some graphite and some harder pastels and some big pastels that I have in order to do that to get started. So my process then is that a clear gesso on the natural canvas. Next is, uh, I reverse it. Sometimes I draw first and then put a fluid wash. Sometimes I put a fluid wash first and then draw. So, but lately it has been drawing and making some big movements, some big kind of gestural movements, and then putting the wash down. And because it's got this grit, uh, it really holds those lines of the charcoal, graphite, pastel. But if I don't want it to come off, then I put some matte medium on it before I do the rest of the painting. And then I use big brushes to make some big sweeps of color. So now I'm gonna experiment with some other, I'm gonna add another thing to the mix and this is after talking with one of the artists in my patreon group and an artist that I know anyway even aside from patreon um, who mentioned to me about because I've been thinking too about I'm not so sure about the absorbency factor I might want to um, prime the canvas somehow and I wasn't really sure how and or with what. So what I'm going to use and what I've used on this one, I've been experimenting. I'm going to turn this a little bit more here. So whoops, so I can show that. Kind of go in a little bit more here. Okay, there's my canvas that I already have primed with the clear gesso. But then I decided um, to make it not as absorbent. I would put down Golden GAC 100. And this says right on the label that it is an acrylic primer and extender. Now I have been using it to thin down heavy body acrylics if I want them a little bit thinner when I apply them instead of so thick and creamy. So I did put this down, the GAC, I'm not sure what that stands for, but um, the GAC 100, and it uh, is really thin, so it went on really uh, smooth. And I used my Oriental brush that I have, show you that. So I used this brush, which was a really good brush to apply that. Nice wide brush, 
and it just moved that uh, gag around really well and it really didn't use all that much. So what I'm going to do now is I want to get some of that grit back. So now I've got two layers. I had like put some of the clear gesso on here. Then I decided oh, I'm going to experiment and see what the gag does if it makes the canvas less absorbent, which I'm thinking it probably will. And the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to take the clear gesso and I just, instead of buying small bottles now, I just buy these this big gallon. And I'm going to put a little bit more on there in places that I know I'm going to do some mark making. And maybe I won't put it on as thick. I'll just put another layer of it on so I can get some of that grit back on that canvas. So that is what I am up here doing. And I am going to take this one now off of its stretcher. And instead of using a screwdriver, which I was using before, I've actually bought a staple remover, which is for heavy duty staples that is usually used for upholstery makes it just a breeze to take these staples off the back. And then I'm going to, well first I'm going to varnish it and um, may end up using this brush also or something similar. And I'm going to put some satin varnish on it. So then I'll let that dry and I'm gonna roll it up and I have three that are on their way to a gallery and they will get stretched once they get there because the shipping is so much less expensive when I do that. And uh, so that's what I do with anything that is really over 36 inches anymore as I take it off the stretcher and I roll it up and I ship it and it gets stretched when it gets there. And it saves, depending on the size, hundreds of shipping dollars. So, and so many galleries do that. They may do it on their own, in-house, um, a couple places do, or they have arrangements with other framers that do that pretty inexpensively for the gallery. So it's good to know. So that's what I'm doing today, and I just thought I would share that with you and hope that this recorded and streamed pretty well today.